how did Erwin Husev lose seven restaurants? Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how did Erwin Husev lose seven restaurants? Let's get right into it. In the colorful and ever-changing world of food and hospitality, we've got a celebrity worth talking about. His name, Erwin Husev. A popular content maker and food enthusiast, turned entrepreneur, Erwin has seen the ups and downs of the restaurant business. Yes, he's worn the triumphant crown of success, but he's also had his fair share of bittersweet goodbyes. With a whopping 10 restaurants under his belt, he's faced the unpalatable reality of closing down seven. You might wonder, how did this culinary Casanova lose seven restaurants? Well, folks, let's buckle up and take a deep dive into the kitchen of reality. First and foremost, let's set one thing straight. Operating a restaurant is no walk in the park. It's not as simple as baking your grandma's apple pie on a Sunday afternoon. It's a whirlwind, a real roller coaster. The recipe for success involves a flavorful blend of ingredients, a dash of culinary talent, a spoonful of business savvy, and a hearty helping of adaptability to an ever-evolving market. In this spicy stew of the restaurant industry, competition is as common as salt, and many variables can make or break your gourmet dream. Now, our friend Erwin is not the type to hide behind a chef's apron. He is an open book when it comes to his business blunders. Unlike a flambé gone wrong that you can sweep under the rug, running a restaurant is public and its triumphs and flops are for everyone to see. Picture this, at the zenith of his food empire, he had his name on 10 buzzing restaurants, yet over time, he had to bid adieu to seven of them. Irwin's journey reveals the less glamorous side of the restaurant business, an industry often romanticized by flashy cooking shows and glamorous dining experiences. This guy's story is pretty interesting. His whole life, folks around him would say, Irwin, don't even think about opening a restaurant. I mean, he heard it so many times, you'd think he'd steer clear of the kitchen. But guess what? He did exactly the opposite. Yep, he said in an exclusive one-on-one, -on -one, the more people told me don't do it, the more it fueled my fire to dive right in. One of his yummy food adventures is Chingolo Deli, a culinary delight he concocted with Nico Balzico, his brother-in-law. Chingolo Deli is a little slice of Argentina right in the middle of town. They serve premium Argentinian beef and a variety of to-go foods. Their menu boasts takeout trays, mouth-watering sandwiches, and empanadas that will make your taste buds dance. The best part? It's still going strong. But here's the thing, contrary to popular belief, the food business is no piece of cake. Sure, some folks think it's the easiest way to make a book, but Erwin tells it differently. He's of the opinion that it's far from easy, especially when your business model heavily relies on the hustle and bustle of foot traffic. Erwin opened up about his journey in the restaurant business saying, this journey has been a massive lesson in humility and business for me. He went on to say, it really teaches you a lot. It seems like this experience has been more than just a way to make a living for Erwin. Yusuf is no stranger to the rough and tumble of the restaurant world. Although we might not have the exact scoop on why seven of his eateries had to lock their doors, one thing is crystal clear. Erwin has had his fair share of kitchen calamities, but he's taken these lemons and made some pretty tasty lemonade. Let's be real, folks. The restaurant industry is a tough cookie. Even the most seasoned chefs and true business owners can find themselves in hot water, and Irwin was no exception. Financial fallouts were part of the narrative. To stem the bleeding, Irwin had to pull down the shutters on his dining establishments. Running a restaurant isn't a picnic, and the relentless demands of the industry could have cooked up the perfect storm, leading to those unfortunate closures. On another note, Erwin's been stirring things up in his personal life too. He's dropped a whopping 100 pounds and has embraced a path towards a healthier lifestyle. Who knows? His personal transformation might have spilled over into his professional world, seasoning his business decisions and aspirations, ultimately reshaping the destiny of his restaurant ventures. But let's not forget, Erwin isn't just a food entrepreneur, he's also a successful content creator and media magnate. His media firm, FEATR, has one delicious mission, to put Filipino food on the global map and crown it as the next big thing. With such a tantalizing goal, it's entirely possible that Irwin's found himself sizzling in a new passion. This could have led him to shuffle his priorities, moving his focus away from the grill of the restaurant industry and into the captivating world of content creation and media. Despite the closure of his restaurants, Irwin has continued to cook up success in his own unique way. It seems like this experience has been more than just a way to make a living for Irwin. It's been a whole life lesson, a chance to grow and learn, proving that even in the world of business, the taste of success is even sweeter when it's seasoned with a little humility. Every venture is an opportunity for a new recipe, a fresh start, and who knows, the next one could be a Michelin star in the making. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.